Welcome back to Seattle Organic SEO's YouTube channel. Today we're going to focus on Bing Webmaster Tools. And why should we do this? Well, first off, understand if you do a search for perhaps uh, Comscore, um, latest statistics or browser statistics, you may find out that, um, frankly, Comscore shows that uh, Bing is representing a significant portion of the searches that occur in the domestic United States. So if you look at basically their insights data, they have a lot of information on how much Google represents all the searches versus Microsoft versus Verizon, i.e. Yahoo, and then ask. And you can see here in January 2020, 26.8% of all searches in the United States at least according to Comscore, are being searched on Microsoft products, i.e. Bing. And so today, we thought we would show you how to set up Bing Webmasters tools. So first off, if you don't know how to get there, I mean, you can basically do what most of us do, which is just Google it, and you can just literally Google Bing Webmasters tools, and it should be the first result here in Google. But if not, you can always go to bing.com forward slash webmasters forward slash about. We'll try to put that in the details. Well, anyway, what do you do? So, you know, obviously click on the get started button. And if you aren't, you know, someone who's already filled out a Microsoft uh, account or rather filled out all their details to create one, you may be wanting to leverage any of your past Google accounts. So let's uh, do that. And you know, leverage perhaps one of our Google accounts. And so here I am actually leveraging my personal account, which doesn't have any Bing Webmaster Tools account set up on it. So this will be a great, um, you know, example to show you. So frankly, it's, you know, I was before today, uh, before actually recording this video, I was trying to just, you know, see if I could set it up real quickly here in 2022 that is and uh you know just wanted to make sure that everything was the same um as it was last year or the year before well regardless it was very similar and so um but just in case you haven't seen this interface these are the two ways very similar to how google basically has their search console set up but uh frankly it's just one of two methods here that bing allows First off, you can leverage Google Search Console, which is the easiest. So if you have it all set up, just import and uh, it should be relatively quick and easy. And you can literally just, you know, take advantage of all the setup and things that you've already done on Google Search Console. Or if you want, as you can see, I was just putting in an example of domain.com and what you do. And that's why they have this information down here. You just add it in. And then once you do, they'll give you three options. First off, you can just upload the Bing site authorization.xml file and then put it into the root directory of your website. That's one method. Another way is putting this HTML meta tag inside the header of your uh, basic website. So just frankly, just, uh, you know, you should have access hopefully to your website. And if you don't know how to do it, you can always bug your webmaster or person who is doing your site or, you know, web uh, developer and so you can do it that way or you can go to your domain registrar and add this CNAME record to the DNS so the domain name server could just get this added to it and these are three different ways to basically verify it once you do um, it should be set up and then after it's set up it will basically show all the different uh, details in webmasters tools so to protect uh, you know all these accounts that I have uh, basically access to uh, we won't go necessarily into it but we obviously wanted to just show you today how to set it up and so hopefully you are now clear on what to do so whether or not you're an advanced you know SEO or someone who's done stuff like this before or someone who just has gotten into it uh, hopefully this helps and uh, at least refreshes you on the the quick way to get to Bing Webmasters Tools and to, you know, literally authorize, authorize rather, um, moving forward, how to get it set up. All right, so hopefully that helps, and uh, thanks again for coming to Seattle Organic SEO's YouTube channel.